Good morning again, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video that I just posted of the BX doing the digging on a new construction site. Well, we're up early this morning and we're headed back. The BX is on the trailer and ready to go to work. When I get to the job site, I'm gonna have to grease it. I like to, if I'm digging hard and digging all day like I did yesterday, I like to put a little grease on it every morning before I start. We're gonna shoot some grease on with the Milwaukee M18 grease gun. And I have the lock and lube on it. So let's put some squirts of grease on it. The M18 Milwaukee grease gun really makes greasing this backhoe easy. That's the main reason I bought the grease gun is because a lot of these fittings have got pressure on them and this gets the grease squirted in there. DeWalt also makes a grease gun and I'm sure it's just as good as the Milwaukee. I just happen to have the Milwaukee. Uh, I would like to try a DeWalt grease gun. Well, Craig, tell us what we're doing right here because I've never done this before. I this need some guidance. Sewer, this is where the house drain will stub out. There'll be a clean out for your, uh, your sewer and your house right here. When you say clean out for the house, do you put in double a, directional? A two way T, yeah. Uh, okay. Cold. We had to put in a two way T. All right. So what am I dig? How am I digging that square? Is that what you yeah, need? Just, just out. It don't have to be a perfect square. Just out of here long enough to get me a. All right. A pop stub out. How deep? Uh, Same deep. Okay, dope. You might say, well, why did you haul the tractor back and forth? Why not just leave it on the job site? Guys, I've just never been one that has left my equipment on the job site very often. I just like to take it home, put it back in the garage, bring it back the next day. If you watch right here, I'm gonna drop the dirt and I'm gonna go back in and dig again. The reason I did that is the bucket wasn't totally full and just to eliminate, you know, any more movement than you have to, I just let that dirt out and just got another scoop. So I try to get as much dirt as I can on each scoop to make each scoop count. This is something right here, operating a backhoe that makes it fun is we're working right up against the foundation of this house, so you've got to be easy and trying to get the dirt away from the foundation, but you can't smack that foundation because you don't want to run the risk of cracking it. As you heard Craig say a while ago, this is where the line will come out to go to the septic system. So I'm digging him a good square so he can get down in there to work to hook this up. At the moment, I've got them caught up, up at the build site. And so I've come to the back of the property because I mow this property. And there's some stumps that stick up and some rocks and things like that that I'm always having to watch out for. So I've come back here to dig this stump up right here that sticks up. And you're gonna see the mass of this. This little BX backhoe, it always impresses me. As I was digging this up, it seemed like it was a mass of maybe three or four stumps together because it's going to be a big root ball. Uh, and then there was one stump that just stuck up and I always had to raise the mower up to go over it. So I'm going to get it out of the way. Now 
now I've moved around to the back side of the stump. I've got the other side dug out, so I've come around to the back now to dig it out, and we're going to break this thing loose real quickly here and shortly. Now you can kind of see just what a glob or a mass of, this was just three or four little stumps together. And this root ball, it's quite heavy, but the BX is going to drag it out. Now I'm going to reposition the tractor right here. You'll watch me put the bucket down and push my tractor back where I've got more room to pull this thing out. Just like that guys, this thing's out of my way and I don't have to mow over it or around it anymore. Now let's push the dirt back in the hole, get this thing filled up, and I've got to get back up to the job site because they're ready for me up there. Let's head back up to the job site and there's several other people that's come in and I'll introduce you to who's up there working. The electrician on the job, that's Lee Blue, Russell's Electric. If you got any electric needs in the Logan County area, I can tell you that's the guy right there to call. If you need his number and you don't have it, if you private message me on Facebook or if you've got my phone number, you text me and I'll give it to you if you need an electrician. He's, he's good. Very fair, very reasonable. The guy, that's Greg right there, he laid these blocks. He's a block layer, a stone worker, lays stone. Him and his son, his son's on another job right now. What happened here is the dump truck backed into the wall right there and knocked them down. So Greg's come in to re-put them up. If you're in the Logan County area, Russellville, Warren County, the, they said his son's in Katie's. So if you need a block layer, a stone worker, you can private message me on Facebook and I'll give you his number. Well, on the CNA plumbing, well, Craig's the C and the A has finally arrived on the job. Uh, the last two mornings, he's been always off on service calls. Well, he's over here on the phone right now and Craig said, get him right now on the phone because that's the way he's usually on the job. He's always on the phone. So this is Adam of the CNA plumbing. You want your uh, two seconds of fame here? <laughs> <laughs> he, I can tell you right now, he's the uh, comedian of the of the <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah. Craig, I'll let you make that comment that he don't ever work a shovel, that he's only doing it for YouTube. Yeah, well, YouTube works the phone. Yeah, <laughs> works the phone. <laughs> Gotta have somebody yeah, to the office he's work. the PR. <laughs> he's personal relations. I tell you, I had the best time with these two guys right here. If you need a plumber, these guys are awesome. Super easy and good to work with. We're digging down under the foundation right here because this is where the water's gonna come in. We gotta drill through the foundation. So what I'm showing you right here is they're wanting this line dug and I've got to join it into this ditch right here. So I'm going to have to pull some of this dirt or some of this gravel into this hole, into this trench, and I've got to cross this trench to dig that line. Now I'm ready to start easing the backhoe across this ditch. I've got my front bucket low to the ground, just kind of scooting it along. So hopefully that keeps me kind of stable, that if something happens here, I go sideways, don't turn over. I'm dropping my leg down low so that it'll catch me. If I was to bobble or something and this thing was to go to tilting, as you cross this ditch, you just have to do it easily. But it's something that I really enjoyed doing because it's kind of a challenge to cross the ditches. And it's just something 
uh, if you're a backhoe operator, I guess it's just something that's fun. The part that makes this a little more challenging is if you're doing it on dirt, most of the time it's hard packed and the dirt don't give away on you. But in this gravel, when you're trying to cross that ditch, the gravel kind of wants to give away on you. Guys, I can tell you, I am wore out, man. It's been a long day. It is 5.30. It has been hot. Man, it's been hot today sitting out there. I've got to get a canopy on that BX. Guys, I thank you for watching, subscribing. I'm wore out. I'm not going to talk. God bless all of you. Remember, guys, God loves you. Jesus died for you. And I really enjoy being with you and making these videos and reading your comments. Have a blessed day.